Oh no, behind me. Atrás, atrás, atrás. Atrás. Me confirió. Me llevó para ahí contigo. Tiene fuego justito. Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Antrax, and today I bring you one of my favorite builds to use in the Dark Zone. What I have right here is my Ridgeway Sprite Wicked build, 1.5 million armor. We're using the FAMAS Usatis, and we are also rocking the Grudge. Now, I'm not shooting anyone with this weapon. I'm using this weapon just to proc perfect vindictive. A lot of people don't know this, but when you are using statuses, if you kill the player, that means if you down a player, even though they're still on the floor, they're either bleeding or burning, whatever status you use, they will still have that status, even though they're still on the floor. So what you need to do once you have this weapon, you don't have to use a perfect one, but again, you're not shooting with this weapon. So why not use a perfect addictive? If you have the regular one, it's going to be 15 crit chance, 15 crit damage. This one gives you an additional three and three. So it's really good. Again, you don't have to kill the target. Just confirm. So if you down a player, weapon swap, confirm the kill with a melee or you shoot the target, whatever. It's going to grant you that extra crit damage. That's all we care about. Now, for me, it's easier for me to proc vindictive than it is to proc perfect finisher. Now, if I have the opportunity and I see either skills or drones, I will proc finisher. But again, with vindictive it's easier because this is one of the few talents that you only need to confirm. You don't have to kill and confirm to proc the talent. Okay. Now we have one group of Sombra for the extra crit damage. Again, we're using a uh, ritual sprite chest. We got a Sesca for the extra crit chance. Now, depending who I'm playing with, if I want to do more damage, I would get rid of the Sesca and instead use an improvised piece. Where is it? This one right here. So I could get more crit damage. All right. We're using uh, fog sprayers, uh, contractor gloves and one family's piece with wicked. You do not want to be using the perfect one. The only difference is instead of 20 seconds, it will be for 27 seconds. It's not worth it at all because with the golden piece, all you're going to get is an extra 10% status effect. If I'm not mistaken, I don't have it on me, but that's all you get. So I'd rather have the 10% AR damage or <clears throat> extra crit damage. That one piece, uh, Golem is not worth it at all, unless you're using the two piece for the armor regen. I really don't recommend you to use it. Now, specialization, we're rocking the uh, 
firewall because the armor kits are still the best in the game and you also get the striker shield so you're gonna get an additional uh 12 damage bonus per enemy in front of your shield all right uh for my second skill i either use pulse or the decoy whatever you want to use again let me show you my stats at the moment i'm rocking 60 crit chance and 160 crit damage if i want to do more damage i will get rid of the seska piece okay just for reference so you can see if you have your pieces maxed out you should have 60 crit chance all right without having to use any crit chance mods you can see i have three percent uh three mods for crit damage all right and uh what else should i tell you about the build again if you wanted to do more damage you could get rid of the seska go with an additional uh improvised holster i, I wouldn't tell you to use uh one walker piece for me it's not worth it at all if you're not using the two piece so for me it's actually better to actually use the improvised piece and get more crit damage i should have another 11.9 uh yep i should have to so where am i using my 212 all right so now we have okay now we're good so now if i were to use this i would have 172 crit damage now 48 now like this is totally fine 48 percent crit chance is extremely doable again my uh holster piece is not optimized otherwise i would be at 50 percent and again when you switch weapons and you confirm with the garage you're gonna get that additional 1818 so that's gonna put me at almost not almost at 190 crit damage okay that's insane amount of damage with the famas one of the best weapons for close quarter combat okay and basically that's all um i'm going to show you gameplay or if i didn't already show it if you have any questions just drop them in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one peace all right so let me just show you an example all right i'm going to use my seska piece this will pull me at 60 160 right let me switch this to immune oh my god it takes so long all right so at the moment we're creating for 482 i'm not gonna use the shield i'm just gonna show you my base numbers okay 482 right now, if I were to proc finisher, I mean, be addictive. 482, where we're critting. Now we increase to 507. Look at the difference in DPS. All right. So as you can see, he's still bleeding. Go, confirm, got vindictive. Now, again, I'm using the crit damage board mod, the crit damage version with no crit chance, So I'm at 48 crit chance. All right, let me see. Because this guy might be using. Uh... All right, again, confirm, vindictive. And also, something that I forgot to tell you, Vindictive work for the entire squad, alright? So they will all get the extra damage. And you can refresh on kill, so you can have it practiced as much as you can, if you're good with the kills. Alright, let me see. Should be another player, but he's not currently pushing. now because of the distance i did not apply the bleed so what i could have done which i fucked that up was to actually shoot the target once and then apply the bleed 
All right. Confirm. Extra damage. Easy. There should be another player coming this way. No, maybe not. All right. So I just wanted to show you really quick what it will look like if you get rid of the uh, crit chance uh, piece or crit damage. So let me just go clear this and uh, we'll keep on uh, going over the build. Okay. 